The word go was the last command Jesus gave us in Matthew chapter 28 verse 18 to 20. Go into the world and preach the gospel to all creation. We call it the great commission. Others call it evangelism. Whatever we choose to call it, Jesus instructed us to do it. Go. At its core, the great commission, evangelism, is sharing the good news of salvation, forgiveness, and grace. Without those things, we would all be lost without hope, without a savior, and would have to endure the consequences of sin, death. Our world is bombarded with the consequences of sin. Everywhere we turn, we see the effects of a fallen world and many who live without hope. Someone must share hope with them. Jesus said, "Preach the gospel to all creation." It's us, you and I. Internal Missions Week. Let's go. Sons of God, go into the world, possess and the nations. Go into the world, make all nations disciples. To God be the glory for the great things He has done. We are so much grateful unto Jehovah God for granting us yet another year and seeing us through the year 2018. Here we are in 2019 celebrating Internal Missions Week activities. On behalf of the National Executive Council, National Evangelism Ministry, I seize this opportunity. to express my profound gratitude appreciation for our collective prayer support in the year 2018 financial contribution and zeal and passion for evangelism this yielded a positive result of opening about 24 assemblies in USA this is remarkable and it is great to the glory of god the church in south america is building a rich heritage of faith and devotion to the gospel of Jesus Christ adding to their list of missionaries is the church of pentecost through internal missions since then the church has grown over a year now and can boast of their own leadership who were ordained into office by the national head apostle michael ajiman amwa here is a trustworthy saying aquí está la verdadero cosa if anyone said yourself Or the This year, our team for the internal missions week activities is possessing the nation through aggressive evangelism, taken from Mark 16:15 to 16. He said to them, "Go, preach the gospel to all creation. Those who believe and are baptized shall be saved, but those who do not believe shall be condemned." God is encouraging us through his word to come out of our comfort zone and to preach the good news. Witness ministry is on board. We are calling upon youth and pensa to be on board. Men's ministry and women's ministry as well. There is no way we can possess the nation only with the word of God. A financial contribution is also much needed. I humbly solicit our help especially on Sunday. as we climax the program let us give bountifully so that god will bless us so that we can do more in the year 2019 you are far my me and such a able for we are far my we and such a able for you nyina ye bom ye nam asempa kan so and your dean so e far my am a christo e radi nshira ye nyina may god richly bless us amen the greatest move of god this world has ever seen is before us indeed the harvest is great and presently the workers are few but we as a church seen as an army of fresh believers beginning to spill out into the streets once again with the gospel soon thousands will be reaped in a single day through your contribution to internal missions my name is Pastor Samuel Dojo Forsen, the resident missionary of Jamaica, the Church of Pentecost in Jamaica. Uh, we are very thankful to God for yet another Internal Missions Week. We are extremely grateful to the graces of God 
that have been poured upon the Church of Pentecost to the extent that it has now reached the nation of Jamaica. Our strength is, is not all that great for us to be able to take care of all the needs of the church being the very first church in Jamaica. We are now starting everything afresh. So we will need uh, chairs, instruments, uh, and vehicle that will help us to reach out to uh, the other cities of Jamaica, namely Kingston, uh, Portmore, St. Elizabeth, St. Anne, uh, St. James in Mobe area, Montego Bay area. And uh, if we will uh, receive prayer from you and money from you, the work in Jamaica will spread as fast as uh, bushfire spreads in a dry forest. Thank you so much. The Great Commission is still valid today. Are we both as individuals and as a church doing what we can to fulfill it properly, exactly what it is? Let's go and make disciples. My brothers and sisters in the Lord, fathers and co-laborers in this vineyard, we want to thank God for your lives and what the Lord is doing in COP USA. Through your prayer support and financial support, we were able to enter into so many countries. We still need to go back in places like Honduras, complete the church building in Huticapa. Recently, we went there, we established a new church in the capital. There are so many areas in that country that we need to go and plant churches. But we need your prayer support and also your financial support. We are planning to go to Trinidad and Panama, where we do not have churches. But it is our prayer that even as we send men and women from USA and elsewhere to these places, we'll be able to possess the Caribbeans and also the Americans. This year theme for the Internal Missions Week is possessing the nations through aggressive evangelism. Once we are aggressive out there on the streets and corners of our country, we want to back it up with our financial support. Last year, we were able to plant 24 churches here in the United States. And we want to continue to do more for the Lord. Your support to the church has helped us all this time. Looking at a place like Guyana, by the grace of God, they are doing awesomely well. Because they know that your prayers are with them. And financially, we are backing them with the resources that we gathered here. Also in Jamaica, we want to thank God what the Lord is using our dear Pastor Forson and Aunt Elizabeth to do. We count on you. We want to plant more Spanish churches here in the nation, French churches here in the nation, Black American churches here in the nation, and also the white churches here in the nation. And to be able to do that, we need not only your prayer support, but your financial support. I pray that whatever you give will not be in vain. God will continue to bless you. And the blessings I'm talking about is the generational blessings that you will enjoy the blessings of God, both physically and spiritually. And your children and children, generations after you, will come to enjoy that. God Almighty, the God of our fathers and your God, richly bless you.